Hi everyone, um, a tactical tip for you here, um, depth, hitting the ball deep. I, I, think, uh, I think we've all heard uh, the importance of depth. If you've taken uh, any ten tennis lessons, your coach is emphasizing when you play tennis, the importance of depth. Uh, a lot of times when I work with players, you know, they, they know they're supposed to get the ball back deep, but they don't always know how, which is interesting. Uh, when you watch uh, high-level tennis, you know, sometimes you have to really just watch the, the net a little bit and the ball clearing the net, especially when the men play. The women play a, a bit lower, but when you watch the men, wa watch the, the, the tra trajectory of the ball, the shape of the ball over the net, and you're going to be quite surprised at the net clearance. All right, the, the, the best way to practice it, in my opinion, is to just visualize it, to put a picture in your mind about the height. Forget about the technique for a moment and just think about how high do you want to lift the ball over the net. And I, and, and I love to use the different zones for that because it simplifies things. So if, if, if I happen to find myself way back here in zone number five, which is way back here, this is zone number five here, uh, which is a defensive zone. We don't want to spend too much time here. But in zone five, I want to lift the ball at least five windows above the net. So this is, this is a window. This much, the, the width of your racket is a window. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you use the window and you, you, you pretend this is the net and you put your racket on top of the net. So if I would have my racket on top of the net now, I would, I would want to go one, two, three, four, five windows above the net. So from here, at least five windows or more. If I find myself here in zone four, which is this zone here, which is where we make most of our ground strokes from, I want to lift the ball four windows above the net. Four windows, one, two, three, four, or more, right? We don't want to go much lower than four, then the ball's going to start to land short. So without even thinking, I'm just, visualizing the height. So if I'm standing here in zone four, I'm thinking lift the ball about four windows or about three feet more or less above the net. Now you, you notice when I'm hitting the ball, when I'm, I'm lifting the ball that high, you, you can see in the back where the ball lands. The ball lands very close to the baseline. And that is what makes you a good tennis player, the, the ability to maintain that depth until somebody cannot handle it anymore, your opponent, and they give you a shorter ball, and now you can go and challenge or attack more. But you notice if I lift the ball but lower, the ball starts to land much shorter, right? So by just adding height, by just visualizing the height without thinking about the technique so much, you can get that ball nice and deep by just understanding the height above the net. Ian is now available for OTI private lessons in Boca Raton, Florida. When you work with Ian, you get state-of-the-art instruction according to the OTI methodology with instant video feedback on the court. If you want to take your game to the next level with private lessons, simply click the link inside this video for all the details.